Perfect timing. Yeah, yeah. Cry the... I feel like Broca's Helm is uh, certainly not as big as some of the others that they got in this. Like, um, like you know, your Ozzy Osbourne, your Motley Crue, your Judas Priest. Like, I feel like those are very well-known bands. But um, Broca's Helm, I feel like not as much, but absolutely fantastic. Oh, I need to... Oh, I messed up my screen. I can't see tech chat. I feel like I'm I I've I've really been feeling the um the the programmer's parable, you know, 99 bugs in the code, 99 bugs in the code. Take one down, patch it up. 113 bugs in the code. <laughs> Dude, how about this? How about you take off your fucking diaper, lay down your little baby foo-foo, and go do your fucking job right now? Dude, not cool. I wear this thing so I don't have to stop the bus to take a leak. <laughs> Lars, aren't you worried that we're pushing our luck with this plan? My little sister, nothing can shake my faith in the future of our people. The days ahead hold only the promise of happiness and sunshine and... It's kind of weird. I grew up, like, my mom had control of the radio growing up. So I have, like, Destiny's Child. Oh, hold on. Tim Curry. Don't be careless. Tim Curry? Tim Curry? Tim Curry? Tim Curry? Tim Enough! Curry? Tim Curry? Yes. Sakoria? Why? You disrupt my industry, but I understand. You try to make me look bad, so you can strip me of my power. A very commendable sabotage. You destroy my servant's colony, but I do not blame you. It was an abomination which we permitted only to keep the human warlord obedient. But what I cannot comprehend is... Why do you live amongst these humans? Your mission was to spy on them, not to join them. Oh, God. I know it was voice. you at the Temple Delphine of Orn Shockley. Golden. I could smell your blood then. Just as I can smell it now. <laughs> Let us wage war, Sikoria. A terrible and beautiful war. But don't live amongst these dogs for one more day or we may never get their stench off of you. These dogs, these are free men and women. And they no longer serve you or anyone else. Do not dare to speak to me, you insect. Who do you think you are? I am proud to say that these free humans have named me their king. Well, in that case... <laughs> it seems I had less to worry about than I thought. Fucking... Get shaggy dog. Uh... Damn. My little sister, you must take care of her. Get him to the bus. You son of a... Oh, that looks like a problem. Angus, get everyone on the bus and get out of here. We'll catch up. Go! Come on. So what's 
supposed to play is through the fire and the flames by Dragon Force right now. <laughs> but uh what did I say? Tim Curry will see the Dragon Force. Alright. Uh, my mom had control of so I I know most like Destiny's Child and stuff like that. I still like it. But I didn't even realize that my dad was a Led Zeppelin head, like had all of their CDs and stuff um, for the longest time until he, he ran into me playing um, Stairway to Heaven at one time and he pulled out all of his uh, discs for me. I'm like, holy, holy shit. <laughs> Nowadays, I tend to oscillate between um, electronica we and made then, it. like folk metal. We're safe. Which I might. I probably am gonna mix things up with the uh, the music. He you know, can't protect you soundtrack. anymore. Soundtrack. I'm probably no gonna use can. some of my other Lita. metal soundtracks. She sold us out. Told them we were coming. Other, Lita, why would I do play. that? Because of the black water still thick in your veins. You crave it. You do anything to get it. Trade anything. Well, don't worry. I'll cut holes in your coffin and bury you so deep the sea's dark fingers will be sure to find you. Lita, don't make me do this. I do have one playlist I really love ha. because it's all ah. female metal bands. Die. Ah. And it's uh, titled uh, Queens of Metal. Ah. And they're all... Will you not let me avenge my brother? Let you? I'll help you avenge your brother, but first I need to talk to Ophelia. Alone. Don't, Edward. She'll manipulate you, like she did with Lars. Wait here. Man, what are we gonna do with her? She's gone nuts. What did he mean about your mission? What? To spy on us. Deviculous. He wasn't talking about me. Oh, right, Sicoria. So who's that? I... I can't tell you. Can't tell me? What are you hiding from us? I was trying to protect you. Protect me? Or protect yourself? I was doing it for you. Doing what? Leading us into a trap? You said you'd trust me. I did. And in return, you kept secrets from me. And now Lars is dead. I mean, to be fair, what do Lars I care if you turn your back on me? Murked. <laughs> just like the rest of them. You're just like the rest of them. Oof. They warned me that something like you might return. They warned me about a lot of things, but I just don't care anymore. So, the, what happened to um, Forget about her. The healers but what if she goes back to her old ways? Don't resurrect. She follows they the just path heal. of her parents. Lars she can't. was. The black tears him, are sealed basically. up forever. Anyway, I'm sure all she wants to do right now is forget all about us and move on. Lars got 100 to zero. Why didn't you kill her? I don't want to talk about it. Classic shaggy dog story. Hey, no one's around you know, but me. If I... I try not to cry about Lars. No, if I had a nickel for every shaggy dog story I've run into tears. these last 30 days, I'd have two nickels. an awesome album cover, Which actually. isn't a lot. What? But it's uh, a hell of a lot more than I'd expect to collect. I don't blame you for loving her. She had a power over men. Not that that's difficult. You didn't say we weren't going to talk about this? Oh, come on. How did I miss something? Look, you put a collectible in front of so, me, uh, I'm going to fucking collect I don't need it. to worry about these Fire Baron characters, do I? <laughs> Vegas. Fire Barons are long gone. But, uh, if they ever came back? We'd be burned alive. Fierce warriors, the Fire Barons. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm sure they're talking about all these fire barons constantly. It means absolutely nothing. Man, how far not Mangus encounter ride? any fire barons. We said that we'd fire be barons. Hold on, give me a second. I like saying, I'll see you in hell. Oh, crap! Oh, my frogs! Shit! <laughs> how dare you frog me? You monster, Aurora. So, uh, 
I don't need to worry about these Fire Baron characters, do I? <laughs> Mangus. The Fire Barons are long gone. But, uh, if they ever came back? We'd be burned alive. Fierce We're talking about Fire Barons, but what about the Frog Barons? Mm -hmm. Damn, those are some woolly mammoths. Also, Rora, yeah, they, uh... <laughs> They tried to heal him, but he was too dead for the base strings to fry, bring him back. Fucking diary. What a interesting song to be playing. <laughs> Just headbang for it. Um, hmm. Trying to run through quicksand. <gasps> trying to run, feet stuck in tar. Eddie! Mangus, are you on the board? <clears throat> Too early, man. Take a look down here. It's later than you think. so we can secure our fan base. Who has a skin and can heal, but sometimes it hurts. They certainly have a particular vibe now, don't they? Okay, that's the last of them. You know who they are, don't you? And the shores from which they drink? All I know is I have to take care of our fans right now. Incredible. Eddie, lift me up. Ah, ah, ah. Gotta get our fans! We need the mana and come! More Doomy dudes coming up the hill! Think that Lars changed his chest? Let's hear it for the fans! Alright, alright, alright. Go for an upgrade. These things are gonna make my arms so buff. Get moving! Uh, what's if you can hear my body? voice, come here! Lady. Yeah. On it, gotcha. Get that AOE damage. Which wore a bib because now you got face all over your shirt. Face all over your shirt. That's better. I will say I do like Doom Dork. These hey, it's that. Uh, the Come on. What's your reference that like maybe one person might have? <laughs> oh well. Uh, that's half the fun. I I get to control. I get to control what's said. Yeah, or Tim Burton. Yeah. Toward the light. Certainly makes me want to put on some of that old, old leaking part. Or, um... That 
What is that other band? The, uh, Boulevard of Broken Dreams, people. Actually, I did find uh, it. Knock it off. Early Lincoln Park. Yeah, early Lincoln Park with the uh, the black rock stuff. Like I'm certainly like my my opinion. Like, there's gonna be something from any genre you like. It just depends. On maybe you need it in a certain subject or a certain situation. For the longest time, Lincoln Park is kind of really the only light marks the spot. Go rock or rap. I kind of like because that rap, like Shinoda's that rap rock stuff, is really nice. Kind of sad he only had one solo album. Then again, remember the name was. Pretty big hit, you know. He did, uh, he did make a good shot with the shot he shot. Kick some ass! Got it! Hey, hey! Alright, she has no head and one arm. She's still alive. What the hell? Okay, um, let's get... Shoulder time! They're coming up the hill on the riverside! And let's save some unit slots for when we get our tier two. Oh look, it's Eddie. Defend our merch booth. Okay. Go protect our fans. Are they Oh yep. These are all enemies. What's this? This then <laughs> Wow, that's really rude of y'all. Ah, rats! Ah! Shoulder time! We are the rats. Get behind me and look alert. Got it. Sounds real good. Yep, sounds good. Nice socks. Super effective. Welcome on by. Hey, get away from Eddie! Beautiful! Can I use your knife? It's about time! Um, oh. Most of my units are dead. Off your face. I think. What a kill. Let's, uh, tactical retreat. Yeah, and I mean, once you start, like, any music starts getting interesting when you shred it out into the more granular genres. It's like, really, the genre I listen most to is, like, folk metal, or fawn, or LBK. Because I like... I like the rhythm of that kind of folk beat, but also sometimes the metal, the metal vibe um, when fused with string instruments or eclectic instruments is really fascinating. It's like El Vite, um, they have a fucking bagpipe in the band, and it's ridiculous how well it works. Um, or like just even other string instruments with metal music. There's another band, which I'm still forgetting to remember, Super effective. that uh, has like skin drums and they use like animal bones for um, you gotta try out my subwoofer, man. their percussions. What do you guys do uh, about that? I remember some of their song names, but the band name is just like just out of reach of me. Really Sleep. 
I'm not sure. I haven't heard of them. I'll need to make a note of them. I'm always on the lookout for, for some new stuff. I... Because of, because of another person, I've been learning a little bit more about raw. Like, I'm not... Like, I only played a cello a very long time ago, and like, from what I know about Frog, it tends to be, like, very technically nuanced to really understand and appreciate what's going on, if that makes sense. But, I really do like songs that, or music that is, like, you just sort of take it in. Which like when I'm like when I'm not on a metal tent and I'm more on an electronica tent, I would think of more of glitch hop kind of stuff. So like your glitch mob or magic sword. Um, it tends to be like uh, <laughs> like an ordered chaos kind of thing is how I would think about it. Um, it can sound very discordant, very um, un-lyrical, un not lyrical, very um, without pattern, but like if you, if you just focus on it, you can kind of hear what's going on. Rock can heal, but sometimes it hurts. Alright, I'll stop. What the fuck is going on? Roger! Yep. Shows over that way. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. What the hell's going on here? Hold on, can I, can I... Team up attack. Very AoE, very there we go. Roger. Oh. Kill these. You like me in this? And he's right now. Alright, where's all about my units? Hold on. I knew it. My units weren't over there. The light marks the spot. Go! Come on, people. Move toward the light! I would say that's one downside to Sam. this. Is that it's you don't have like unit groups, so it's a little bit harder to control your army. Come on. Cinematic kill screens sometimes are uh, a little bit silly. Eddie, look! Oh shit! Oh fuck! That's a lot of them. So be it. Let us not keep death waiting. that murdered the general. Right then. Ah, the other guys. Fire barons have Man, those fire very barons strong... Uh, Please don't tell them all the bad stuff I said, okay? Come on! What's the turn? Can't let them fight our battle for us. 
Leather Daddy energy? <laughs> oh, hold on. this song? Have you ever heard it? Oh, sweet. Go protect our merch booth. Got you. Roger. Light marks the spot. Go. Yeah. Fucking downside of living in downtown. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that guy's, uh, like, the guy that I focused on is a specific band cameo, but I, I don't know it off the top of my head. There's so many cameos in this. The only ones I really remember are Jack Black as the Cat and um, Ozzy Osbourne as the uh, God of Metal for sure. Um, Shopkeeper needs. Now you got face all over your shirt. Get moving. Toward the light. Damn, they're expensive units. Uh, Bloody <laughs> hell! Nice They're just slaughtering all my people. Not now. Get these grave diggers out of here! Hey, get away from Eddie! Oh shit! Um. Right. Beautiful. I maybe can shoot the council for the ad. I got a timer now. Knock it off. Hard not to love the random cinematic kills. I'm hey, <laughs> Wow, you can't say it's part of Ophelia's group. We don't know that yet. Combo style. Ophelia. Now do you see what she's capable of? She has merchandise. Do you finally see? Damn, the Black Tears are the source of her power. But the Sea of Black Tears was sealed. Forever. Where have you guys been? <laughs> Draviculus opened up the sea right after Line White bit it. We had to keep moving north just to get away from these gloomy mothers. Draviculus? Why? To set human against human. To let the uprising destroy itself. Again. It's time to get out of here. But where are we gonna the run fucking, to? Um, to the sea Batman of black tears. To Mermaider. Absolutely hilarious. That's suicide. Come we come. <laughs> I'm gonna go do a little solo recon. When I find a way to get the bus over the gorge, I'll give you a buzz. Fucking Fire Baron's like, suicide mission? Let's do this! Yeah, that metal. They've done a... I think they've done like three songs. Um, but they're all fucking fantastic. Uh, the artist. Okay, um... I'm going to hit... I'm gonna go ahead and hit that ad since we're in the open world portion and I'm gonna be just bumble fucking around for a minute. There's just volume if you need to. Okay, yeah, the, the spotlight's over there, but I'm pretty sure I missed it. Things. 
Did you break down again? She ain't broke. She just waiting for her next victim. Looks like she's waiting for a tow truck to me. The dosage. Time for you to learn some respect. In Lion White's tainted backside. Hey, Since I'm not gonna see his new mirror, I guess this is the Watch last of the I wouldn't be Why brave enough to play so my slow. music. Play with, uh, Get behind the druid plow. I'm too. I don't know. I wouldn't say hipster because hipster implies like I'm I'm intentionally finding like niche stuff. How does he do it? I usually go with the term eclectic. Nice it's like yeah, buddy. I know my music taste is kind of weird, but fuck that. I vibe with it. Like I uh, last week I had um, Electric Cowboy their techno album on repeat for like three days straight uh, and stuff. just because something about it was just juice in my uh, productivity veins at maximum Yeah, that's what All I right. got. Alright. Demon summon. That's that one's very fairly straightforward. I just need to not fuck up. Since I don't gotta leave you, mirror, I guess this is the last I'll see of ya. I'm pretty sure this the uh the racing side quests are by um uh, Mario Kart rules in which like the AI behind you gets like a silent um speed buff. Who's squealing now? Huh? Yeah, for Electric Callboy, I think it was mostly um I saw the Arrow of Love, I think it is. Uh, Arrow of Love um music video. And just something about that song, the music video, like it just had just overwhelmingly positive vibes for me. Um, and it really gassed me up to, like, um, I think I added, like, fucking five new redeems. Like, I've been, I've been going really crazy in stuff I've been putting in streamer bot and DPS, um, this last week or two. The sun got in my eyes! <laughs> Alright. So we did that. Um, wait, this is the opposite direction. Um, this way? Have below. It's gonna bug me until I remember that fucking folk metal band. Uh, I can only remember the fucking songs they've done. Fucking relics arrays. That's my question. I feel like we've unlocked some 
Yeah, fucking We've Got the Moves is just the funniest goddamn video. Like, they have those, like, bolder haircuts and just the ridiculous outfits. Fucking... <laughs> they fucking are doing the head bob and, like, everyone, like, gets captivated and starts doing the head bob to them as... And then the, at the end of it, the fucking the fucking guy in the the the, uh, the trailer like busts out of the trailer and is like, "What the fuck are y'all? The fuck is the noise all y'all are making? Fuck off! Get off my lawn!" And everyone's all scared. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They have they have some amazing music videos. There's also, um, one that's been glued to my YouTube recommendations. It was... Not We've Got the Moves. It's, a uh, Pump It Up, but, uh, Velvet Remix. And that is nice. Because it's all, it's all slowed down and velvety. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, they have a remix, and the, the music video is different too, but like, it's not as involved of a remix music video, but it's still, like, it's, it's fantastic. Definitely check it out. It's a much more, much more of a chill vibe. All right, let's see. Let's see what unlocks we might have from old Ozzy. The Guardian of Metal welcomes you. Metal noise, blood and fire. Tell me what you most desire. Catch it. Style is important. There's no shame in looking good. All right, we've been rocking the double fine, but let's go ahead and switch to cabbage because it amuses me. Maybe it's time you had your axe dipped. Ooh, mountain man. All right, so we got a new outfit. Go ahead and put that on. How about some fighting? Now these are a lot bigger than they look. Yes, take care of your car. Ooh. Hmm. Let's need some help getting away from those porcupines. Sure you don't want just a little speed. more. Now here's where things get weapons. interesting. Ooh. Missiles. All right. All right. Let's Someone some could really do some That's damage an interesting with that. Weapon. Just a little extra something deadly. Um, eh, I don't know about style is important. Maybe it's time you had your axe dipped. Um, I could have sworn there's a way to get... Why have one weapon when you can have two? I could have sworn that he gives us lore. Do we not? Do we just have to certain Keep milestones? the old galley. These strings come with a free paint job, I should mention. Hmm. That'll really get their attention. Pain Go comes in many flavors. This one's a troublemaker. Ooh, chain this one's a troublemaker. On Hell yeah. I've got a couple of moves I can show you. Why not Ooh, make them come guy. to you? I love this song. 
Something for your driving pleasure. Okay, see you later, Guardian of Metal. Don't be a stranger. I mean, to be honest, like, he's getting up there in age. Whoop, I'm gonna sneeze. Ugh, excuse me. There's, so electric, I love electric eye, but it always reminds me of, um, there's another, I want to say it's an electronica person. Um, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's Scandroy, but there's a specific song he's done. Um, I, I don't know if it's under his Scandroid persona. Because he ha he does he does a couple different things under slightly different personas. Um, I think Scandroid is his more synthwave uh, persona. Um, but there's one that just, like, Electric Eye just makes me think of it. the other way, right? We're just marching around kicking ass. All right, all right. Well, hopefully you have not blacked out. Because it is time to press on with Brutal Legend. Also, I finally, in a moment of Tiffany, have remembered that um, one folk metal band I was talking about. <laughs> and it is Hila. It looks like those kinky S&M demons have gagged up this awesome dragon statue. I... All right, I guess I still need something else to open that up. That's kind of annoying. Uh, but Keelung is fascinating. Uh, I would love to be able to be there for one of their live shows. Sure. Um, I would highly recommend checking out the live show version of their stuff. Because um, it's very, very folk, industrial, experimental. Um, but their costuming is so fantastic. Um, so nice. Oh, I'm I'm a potato. I need to, I need to go a different path to get all the way over there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're they're pretty pretty fucking great. Seems like the only way I can go towards it.
Looks like something the inside there is there's dying to get out. Uh... Man, I know that, that makes me feel good. Face melter! Alright. Neither of those things did anything, so fuck it. Off we go. Aha! A bridge! Kinda. They certainly sit in a spot um, in between, like, my active... Like, I have my, my normal metal that I'll jam to, and then sometimes I have my more ambiance stuff um, that I call my, like, druid playlist. And it's usually stuff that's very... Very low and thrummy, more of a more of a background kind of stuff, like um, like War Duna. So like a lot of like Mongolian throat singing kind of bands. Hey Mangus, um, like, come who, here. You gotta check out this bridge I built. Like, actually, I think their band's name is actually yeah. Zaku. You see, Mangus, those guys from Yor um, really understood the value of craftsmanship. And look, people are using it already. But yeah. Sometimes I like having that low bassy stuff in the background versus something a lot more energetic. That low and slow, like a nice barbecue. Woo! Hey, look, Eddie. I finally got myself a car. It's got a special seat in the back. Just for you. <laughs> Ophelia, what have you done? Well, you know, after you tore out my heart and left me for dead, I'll admit I was a little down. But then I pulled myself together. Started making new friends. Daviculus is not your friend. Can't you see he's using you as a tool against us? And I began to use all that stuff you taught me, Eddie. And you know, you taught me so much. You taught me about trust, and loyalty, and betrayal. And you also taught me the power of music. Here's a little song that I've been dying to play for you. Mangus, back up. Wow, I can't believe turning off music, like, mutes her song. Well, that's kind of annoying. I mean, I have my primary playlist that's, like, everything I've ever liked. And yeah, that one's fucking unhinged. Dang. And all over the place. Well, so much for driving to our deaths at the Sea of Black Tears. No, 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 I can fix this. But it's gonna take about 5,000 cubic buttloads of scaffolding to do it. Uh, what? Yeah, I know. I've just kind of made, um, The only place that has the stuff we need. Yep. Certain specific Is back playlists. in Bladehenge. So come on. What are we waiting for? We're just marching around kicking ass. That. I'm really miffed. Man, I swear I could have so gotten. Terrible things have happened here. It will always be uh, a just sad cruising place now. for demons to kill. I feel like I should have gotten more like setting lore by now. I feel like I'm missing something. I'm pretty sure like when I originally played this way back in the day, I won it. That's like... By the blood of Ormagodden. Kinda crazy weather we're having. The coil had infested really the have, land. Uh, no. they moved in while we were hiding out didn't have many games back in the day. We should so never like... have left Bladehenge unprotected. They wouldn't Playing dare. what I had. I mean, really, how long have we been gone? Uh, 
this is new. I feel, I feel amazing. Like the greatest thing that ever happened to you, right? Okay, Clementine, this one's for you. Oh, I had to just talk to it. Okay. What you got for me? Recall flag. All new squad. Oh, okay. I can't wait to turn that out. That's really useful. You up you That's very useful, actually. Is there any, um, red roses I have missed to do the Relic Razor thing I'm going to do Ah! Ah! No! 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 I fell. <laughs> that didn't happen. We're just Eddie's marching around weakness. kicking ass. Fall damage. Wait a minute, Eddie, can't you sprout wings and fly? No, no, it's not on command. You know, it's not, you know, not in the Man, mood today, alright? So I, mean, I can't, I can't have always here. sprout wings, we'll always okay? Be a sad place uh, just now. cruising for demons to kill. Yeah. <laughs> I love this car. If anything happens to this car, I will kill everyone else and then myself. <laughs> By the blood of Orma Garden. Kinda crazy weather we're having. The coil have infested the land. Guess they moved in while we were hiding out in Death's Clutch. We should never have left Bladehenge unprotected. They wouldn't dare. And I mean really, how long have we been gone? Wait, do I need to, hold on, do I need to get that thing again? No, I don't. Alright. Good to know, good to know. I had to double check. It would have been very awkward if I expected to have it and, uh, did it. Whee! Gotta go fast. Sonic boom, Sonic boom, Sonic boom. Nitrous boots. Nitrous boots. Nitrous boots. <gasps> Ooh, this is awesome. Whoa, we've been gone a while. Look, Literally one enemy at a time. Let's take care of Ophelia first, and then we'll come back here and run the ugly kids out of town, okay? We'll have a huge party, I swear, but first we need some scaffolding. There's the stuff. The cubic buttload? Yeah, more or less. Well, let's call Manga so we can get out of here. Exactly what I was thinking. Hey, Mangus. Now, come all the way back over here to get all this stuff. Okay, it's all loaded up. Now, can we please get out of here before someone... Ah, shit, man. Notices this is us! Everybody in the bus, move! Certainly the vehicle sections I feel left. are kind of the weakest part of this game. Um, I get that it's open world, you know, to have a car, you know, adding like car games to it is a natural extension of things, but 
I don't know. Not my Coming at favorite. Head on, eh? Make way! Feels more tedious than um, interesting. Yeah, yeah. But I'm sort of in a situation where it's like there are not a lot of games that involve the tactical RTS kind of thing. So I sort of got to take what I can get out of this. I mean, Double Fine, you know, it's sort of their blessing and their curse. That, like, they do some really interesting things, but sometimes they can get a little bit lost in the sauce in, um making things interesting and doing something different instead of just like wow. keeping to the solid bones and iterating on that. is a fourth dimensional hey, real time strategy. And uh, I did not miss speed. It um, has time as a mechanic that you can send units back in time. Hey, Rick, we're getting killed and then over you here. can go back in time to command units. And then that can propagate forward. So you can do stuff like send a bunch of units back in time, destroy an enemy's production facility, and then it propagates forward such that any units produced by that facility cease to exist. Um, Out of the way! So the game can get a little bit complicated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind if you start introducing paradoxes, like um, making a unit, Sending it back in time, having it destroy its own production facility. Which will cause it to sort of oscillate between existence. And like there are, because the game engine isn't infinite, there are limitations and you can sort of game it. Um, it was really, really interesting and fascinating. But ultimately, um, the thing that really crippled it from gaining bigger traction... Well, two things. One, uh, StarCraft True Wings of Liberty. Dude, you know I love um, Pyro, but from now on we gotta that, be a little more... Stable. That game was going strong at the time. We're trying to surprise... But two, you, remember? because hey, of the man, processing okay. power to do the... We made it! You gotta chill out. Temporal calculations and all that... It uh, what the hell was that? really sacrificed in the graphics department. And Hi, at that time, like, it shouldn't matter. Like, graphics shouldn't matter and affect a good game, like a game with good bones. But at the end of the day, people like seeing pretty pictures. So it's sort of inevitable that it took a lot of dings for having kind of garish graphics for the time. Hi, Eddie. Hey, 
Uh, yeah. I, I'm certainly in the same way. Like, I played Door Fortress so long ago without any of the graphics packs. So, like, pure ASCII graphics. Like, I see a lowercase c and I tremble in fear. Um, I feel Door Fortress is kind of the pinnacle of graphics are secondary to really well made um, really well made gameplay though that being said um, I'm really happy to see the Door Fortress Steam release be an absolute fucking banger like um, of the people Sorry, I need to wet my whistle. Of the people who have created things, be it music, art, video game, whatever, um, Tarn Adams and um, I think his brother does help. I don't remember if his brother like helps with the donation art things or if they are actively involved in the development of Door Fortress, but. The fact that Tarn Adams has done Door Fortress as their primary, like, life's work for over a decade now um, is impressive. And I wish more people were lucky enough and had the opportunity to do the same thing with things that they were passionate about. Um, because. The, um, if you didn't know, Door Fortress has ASCII graphics, so it uses, like, periods and alphabets to represent things in the game. So, like, you, when I mentioned a lowercase c, um, those represent, um, carp, like the fish carp in the game, which, because of the game's mechanics for the longest time, had just an absurdly disproportionate melee attack and could just make mincemeat out of your doors for fucking no reason. <laughs> um, Door Fortress also has had the most amazing um, bugs to fix. So I remember a patch note of uh, like uh, fixed, um, fixed cats. Um, I think it was getting drunk. And uh, I don't know if they were, like, dying of alcohol poisoning because they were so drunk or going so drunk they were killing things. But what it was is um, the dwarves drinking alcohol might spill on the ground. And then a cat would walk across the ground. I see that. Because Dwarf Fortress has absolutely absurd realism uh, mechanics implemented into it their feet would have alcohol on them, and then when they went to clean themselves, as cats are wont to do, it would calculate the fact that they are licking their hands, or licking their paws, and then cleaning themselves. Because they are licking their paws, which are covered in alcohol, they were ingesting it, because of the concentration of alcohol, <laughs> compared to the size of the cats, they would basically instantly be inebriated and then be overdosing in alcohol <laughs> because a dwarf amount of alcohol is lethal to cats. <laughs> uh, another great one was... Um, so like body like bodies have simulated like layers of skin and muscle and fat and all that. <clears throat> and the way the game at the time was implementing burning was that it would be um, it would it would be igniting like the fat portion portion of the door. Yeah, and at one point, um, what someone found 
is they could looks like another solo embark in an area like a desert that was so hot it would instantly um, ignite the fat of a dwarf summons a massive flaming zeppelin that crashes into the ground that ought to come in handy I mean we gotta we gotta we gotta we gotta try this out Oh, yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> yes! Now that's a new solo. I bet that does hella damage. But, um... So the so the fat would be the only part that's, like, igniting and melting. Um, so what the person found is they... They embarked into an area that, like could get hot enough to instantly ignite fat. And they built like a pool. So the door, they would order the door to go out and basically self-immolate, which would then have the doors immediately run back in a panic and the flames would be put out in the water. And eventually they would burn off all of the fat and then the doors would be immune to fire because they would just be skin, muscle, and bone, which at the time had no uh, coating for burning or melting. <laughs> so then they have fire immune dwarves, just with this one easy trick of torturous pain. <laughs> but, um... But yeah, the uh, the Steam released the Door Fortress, which had a had an inbuilt graphics pack and a bunch of quality of life stuff um, already baked into it. Made the game much more accessible, and like I totally, I totally bought, I bought, I, I played, I haven't played it in a long while, but I I like to support people like Carn Adams, um, so I, I I contributed funny numbers to them. And I heard they got, um, I think b before, like, taxes and all that stuff, I'm pretty sure they got, they, they raised, like, a good couple million, which is absolutely fantastic, because I know they are taking care of their aging, um, parents as well, as, like, the only one, like, that's the only income him and his brother are taking in. Um, and it's really moving how many people that were similar to me that, like, maybe they, maybe they played Dwarf, Dwarf Fortress back in the day, maybe they don't play it now, but, like, respect and believe in Tarn Adams's vision and what they do, and gave them some money to support them. You know, in, in some ways... Okay, In I some ways, you can be cynical but, um, and, no. and take it as Run like. Run him over with the bus. No. It's dark. Poison that catnip. People have to kind of no, turn to the society them. to. They're going to join our army. Tell me you're joking. Them. But also, it is really uplifting to see people or communities come together and help others out. Like, maybe they're complete strangers, but they, they give a little bit to help with whatever, you know, bullshit medical emergency that the healthcare industry should be taking care of. Or, or something else, um, you know, just helping each other out. It's really inspiring um, to, to see that happen. It, it really pushes back any kind of, like, cynical nihilism kind of thing. Dead serious. So here's the plan. We are going to ensnare the beasts in a ring of fire. Then Lita drops down on the beast from above and rides it into a cage. What cage? The one you're going to build. How am I supposed to control them? With your stubborn and forceful personality. And then what? You'll just sweet-talk them into fighting for our side? No more questions! 
I can't tell you the whole plan right now, okay? You might get captured. It's for your own protection. Yeah. Like, I okay, feel let's settle it's... Up. Especially as... I don't know. I, I would say I... I, I feel okay, I have this been is the area a lot we're of gonna trap him to make it easier for leader to, to pounce. others. And sometimes Easy. it's really right. Yeah. It can be a very stressful. All right, let's go. It, I don't know. I don't know. It can feel like very first world problem or very weirdly stressful. It's like I I, I don't feel like I deserve some. Hey, of what's the, going on like, down there? Gotten, you guys haven't forgotten me, have you? This isn't one of those I, pranks I like where you to leave me in the trees all night, is it? It's it's good to be aware of. Ooh, there's one. Here, kitty, kitty. It's important. Not good. Wake it's up. important to be aware of um, hmm. issues and problems um, with the world. But I think it's just as important to also try and make things better where you can, to the best of your ability and within reason. Um, I would always say, like, a, a big thing that, um, I don't remember where I first read it or came across it, but it's like, don't, don't set yourself on fire to keep other people warm. Uh, do what you have the capacity to do to make the world and society better. Um, as best you can. And whatever okay, whatever later, that is, away. it's different for everyone, but every little bit matters. And if everyone does oh, that, everyone works together, you know, I think, I think the place Too would close. be better for those that come after us that we may never see. Fire in the hole! Jump, leader, jump! That's more of a Talos principle. Yeah. <laughs> Brain worm. <Yeah. laughs> What now? We do it again! Got to find a more metal beasts. I don't see any more. Maybe they're extinct. Nah, they're probably just nesting in the jungle nearby. Come on, let's go find one. Whoop, wrong way, apparently. You are exiting the playable area. Lita! Can you see any of the monsters from up there? No, but um, I think I hear them snoring. Um. Hey, did I tell you about the Zolia yet? One creature at a time, Baron. Let's focus. Suit yourself. Where the fuck are the monsters? Oh, I see one. Hey, little guy. What's Here going on? Go. Uh, oh, kind of took the long way around. Okay, then. Come on, come on. Come on, fire beast. You can do it. Come on. Going down, down, down. I thought we wanted them alive. Burning a fire. What the hell? Why did I not capture that one? Come on. Come on. Fire capture it. Jump, there we jump. go. All right, we All probably right. have to do a third Daddy. one because story rule of three. Done enough? Almost. Yep, rule of three. Okay. Three beats are certainly one of the oldest story tropes. Lita, can you see any of the monsters from up there? No, Whoops. but I think I hear them snoring.
You're the snoring. What are you Peter, talking about? Do you see Peter? any of the monsters from up there? Oop, no, wrong way. but I think I hear them snoring. Come on, come on. Throw me a bone here. Throw me a bone. Oh, there we go. Hey there, little guy. Where the fuck? Oh. Come on. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Fire in the hole! Jump, Lita! Get him! Yeah. Get him, Lita! Yeah. yeah, they're like, oh, what is that? A tiny breakable pixel? Poof! Poof! Good day, sir! You see? I knew they could be ridden. I wasn't riding them, I was holding on for my life. There's no way to really ride these things. Not true. There's Alia do it all the time. The who? There's Alia. These beast companions and... Protectors. <laughs> Fucking Zalia. <laughs> The fucking kiss yeah, face thing so, gets me uh, every long story short, time. I'm from the future, and I'm here to recruit you for my army. Although they're, uh... We're already an idiot. army, and you're not welcome to join it. Very, How are we uh, getting out of here? As I see blush moment. Stay cool, everybody. Don't have a flush yet. Eddie, the fire is spreading. No, it's not. It's just an illusion. Confinement is playing tricks on your brain. Incredible. There goes another row. Eddie, this is not an illusion. I know, I was just stalling. Man, I know that makes me feel We're good. running out of room. After all the fires I've set in my life. Don't you think it's kind of ironic that here we are, about to burn to death? Am I the only one trying to stay positive here? I think that... You? No, that ain't me. That's my dad. Eddie, Lord that's draw. a famous warrior of our time. Not yours. He was the leader of the Black Tear Rebellion. His name was Rigna... Rignarok. He fought alongside the Zalia. He gave us the skills to defend ourselves when the black water last rose. Yeah, he gave me something too. I found this in his attic after he died. <laughs> Apparently there's a lot about my dad I don't know. But it seems one thing I do know is that he, somehow, once fought at your side when your land was in danger. So I ask you, will you fight at our side now? If you will still have us in your army, son of Rignarok. Bruno victory. Man, this uh this ziggurat is very unfriendly to climbing down in. Unlike my ziggurat, which is a very simple, straightforward steps to go down. Granted, I don't know why I have steps when it's just 
is me slithering down. I really could make it more of a ramp than a, uh... Step situation. Looks like something inside there is dying to get out. Your heart's not palpitating now. Call your doctor, but you are dead. Really? Nothing? I'm sorry, was that a bit too intense? Well, that's a bugger. Actually, you know what? A fucking, um... I would love to have, like, a fucking slide. Like, if I ever had a, a house with more than one story, I would love to have, like, a slide to go down, um, like, from, from, from the above areas to below. Just, whee! Who just marching around Rocket kicking troll. ass? Yeah, because sometimes, you know, you don't want to just walk downstairs. You just swoop down the slide. Oh, time for another race, eh? Man, you're everywhere. It just seems that way because I'm so fast. How come you ain't so fast when I'm looking at you? Uh-oh. Time to teach you another lesson. Another lesson in losing. <laughs> Try to go easy on you. You better back off later. Sonic. I can punch you from here, little guy. Get that heap off the road. All right, all right, all right. We're doing good. We're doing good. As long as we don't get any jackknives. Hey, knock it off. See ya. I can punch you from here. Coming through. Ah! Hard turn! <laughs> Boost! Alright, alright, alright. I think we're doing pretty good. I think we're doing pretty good. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he has beat me in the first of each race so far. But I think uh, this one... This one he loses full stop. Hell yeah. Victory. Not fair. I hit a porcupine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, we have a round of ads coming soon. So if you need to adjust volume do so. If not, I will see you back in a bit. I'm probably going to look around for some random shit reporter in the meantime. Um, you get you get fire tribute, which is like currency you use to unlock things at um, Ozzy. So like upgrades for your vehicle, upgrades for your weapons, different outfits, things like that. Um, I want to say if you do, if you beat all of him, you unlock something specific. Again, I haven't played this game since way back when it first dropped in the Xbox 360 era. Yes, Deadly Sinner. <laughs> Deadly Sinner! Hi, Eddie! Wait, was there something over here? Ooh, hey! It's been a while since I found a relic in 
Great, I was getting sick of my old songs. <laughs> A headbang emo would be pretty fucking fantastic, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I can't really do it as a serpent, though. I mean, I could bang the head, but I can't really throw the devil's horns. I do need... Actually, hold on. Do I have it in my, um... Hey, ya fuck, do the things. .txt. I do not. All right. I need to make a note. I do need like a like a like a jam emote of some flavor. Hey, you guys roasting weenies or what? We heard a bunch of enemy scouts were going to cruise through here soon. So we're hiding out. We're going to ambush them. Wait, so you're hiding out by lighting this big fire? Uh you here to criticize the ambush or help the ambush? All right, I'm joining this ambush. Yeah, like, Let's piss I'm... on this fire and get ourselves hid. My current animated emotes are very, very ladies holder. They'll be here. But it's very frustrating trying to find There they are. To do Look the at them, smug bastards. They have. think they can just walk through our land. What do we do, Eddie? Screw you. There they are. Yeah, my like my, my, my big ones, I would love to have. Sometimes it hurts. The, uh. The squish emote. Like, uh. Machinery has. Uh, I want a a dumpy emote of some flavor, and I want a spin emote. I don't see anybody. They'll be here. But yeah, exactly. Zero. Look, fucking exactly. Like I. I'm really frustrated because that artist, like, they open their, their, their YCH columns for that randomly, but they didn't indicate that, like, they don't have that, like, all over their, their profile or whatnot. They just have, like, DM for commissions. So it's like, I DM them a long time ago. It's like, hey, Da -da 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 -da. mentioned you did this emote. I would love to have that kind of emote. And then I hear fucking nothing back for like months. Which I just assume is like they're probably swamps. I'm a small potato, whatever. Um, And then I, I actually saw recently um, the open comms for the squish emote. Um but they were closed by the time I was able to get to the form to fill it out. <laughs> and I think uh, they said the next time they might open comms is like September. So it's like, all right, cool. And then uh, for, for Dumpy, I have absolutely no idea. Um... For spin, there's only one person I would love, but I uh, they don't really have open comms. I don't know if they just do emotes, like people just DM them and they take it, but like, I'm a very, uh, I don't want to impose on people, especially artists. So if they, if I don't see an indication of a preferred way of contact or anything like that, I'm not going to reach out. That's just how I be. Bastards. They think they can just walk uh, through our land. What do we do, I Eddie? I thought I had someone to do with me. But unfortunately, um, uh, after a couple of weeks, they emailed me saying, hey, um, 
I can't really do this. I'm just gonna refund you. Which, I mean, at least they were open about it. I don't know. It's frustrating sometimes. Because I'm super effective. For the longest time, uh, because I've been in the IG sphere for a very long while, and the InfoSec sphere as well, I have substantially minimized my online presence. Which means now that like I'm finally like I I've been I've been wanting to do like streaming stuff for a good handful of years now. Um, but like now that I'm actually doing stuff and like trying to interact and engage with people, um, like the good, like so many years of having zero online presence or constantly scrubbing my online presence, um, kind of makes it difficult in some ways because like I don't have those connections with artists and creators and all that feet? stuff <laughs> so in some ways I'm like starting from zero with a lot of that which feels weird oh, yeah. as someone yeah. not That's super wrong. young right. it's done. <laughs> now back to the s'mores I'm not, I'm not old, but I'm not young either. Sometimes it's weird, weird sitting in that groove. It's like I don't, I don't understand those newfangled tick and talks. Why is it okay? There we go. Did somebody wash you? Yeah. Yeah. It also certainly doesn't help that because my birthday is near a major holiday, um, I got really desensitized to my birthday and holidays in general, such that, like, I forget when it's my birthday very often. Like anytime they ask me, anyone asks me how old I am, I have to sit there and do math for a minute. You will. I, I don't. I don't really put a lot of stock in holidays, which also makes it awkward for work because it's like. Uh, Let's just say, Jiro, um, we can be Decembros together. <laughs> the Guardian of Metal welcomes you again. Metal noise, blood and fire. How about some fighting secrets? Uh, let's keep Mountain Man. I think, um, I'll do Zulia next time. I could have, like, where's... I Something for your driving pleasure. That Ozzy does lore dumps, and we should have gotten another How about lore some dump fighting by now. Okay, see you later, Guardian of Metal. Knock him dead. I feel like I'm misremembering something. Because I want, I want to, like, space out the lore dumps, but we haven't gotten one in a while. Uh, I do remember, um, I think my best uh, birthday slash Christmas present was uh, one time I got a five pound Hershey bar. All for me. And the thing is about those Hershey bars is uh, they don't have brake lines. 
So what we did is we like uh, hung it over the countertop and I like used my elbow to break it and we broke it into chunks. And I remember for like a solid couple of weeks, I basically only ate um, Hershey's chocolate and played Counter-Strike 1.6. <laughs> <laughs> That's very, very kid energy, because there's absolutely no way I could do that nowadays. We're just keeping this land safe. <laughs> After like two days, my body would be like, please, please, give me a broccoli floret. Just a, just a crumb of a cauliflower. <laughs> a smidge of corn, if you please. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so hey, Icarus. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to <laughs> Chocolate Hours. <laughs> I think, um, I, before then, I didn't have a taste for dark chocolate, but after that, um, I could eat dark chocolate. Now, I cannot eat, like, the Mega, like, I'm pretty sure I got one time a, like, 70% or, or, like, 80% cacao dark chocolate bar once. That was too bitter. That was, that was not my jam. Uh, roses. Is this a is this a jam thing? Nope, not a relic razor. Damn, a PS1. Well, shitty. I hope I hope your I hope your sleep schedule isn't too messed up from all your travel. You know, definitely definitely don't let me keep you up. But, uh, you know, I always appreciate people stopping on by makes things a lot easier and I feel a little bit less crazy when I'm not just monologuing to myself about things. <laughs> Although I feel like to even stream you need to have a little bit of... Oh, I thought I was gonna die there. Um, you need to be a little bit unhinged and a tiny bit of ego to uh, do any kind of streaming. I never got... I don't know. With birthdays so close to Krimbus, you either have like a really good Krimbus or you have a really good birthday, but never a good Krimbus and birthday. Rock lock. <laughs> I can't wait to try Fantastic. that. Fantastic. I remember, let's see, I had a Sega Genesis in a couple games. I also got, I think N64 was my big present, and that was a big, um, I think that was like a year where like, we're starting to not believe in Santa Claus, and then the parents contrive a super convoluted way to convince us for another year that Santa Claus exists. Because, like, we were all on a family trip somewhere or something, or, like, visiting other family. And then we got home and, oh, oh all of all the presents. Well, how did these all get there? None of us were around. And I think, I'm pretty sure, like, they told us later that, like, they had our uncle. They gave, like, keys to the house to our uncle, who stopped on by and unloaded the presents and all that and set them up for us to come back to. And I think I got an N64. I say I, it was more for like me and my siblings. Um, but the thing was, is my parents shortly became very... Ow. Rude. Excuse you. 
resummon my vehicle. Um, my parents became very anti VGA game. Um, they, uh, I think. I think We're just one of them insane. had like a uh, family therapist or psychology thing as a part of work one time because I remember we went to talk to a therapist and it, they specifically were talking to us about video game addiction. Mind you, we were like late middle school age, so very confused. Um, but, uh, we had an N64, which got taken away because one night, um, I, I think, it, I don't know if it was just me or if it was me and my siblings woke up early to play, um, 007, because I think that was the only, like, we had, like, one or two games, but I definitely know we had 007, Goldeneye, and we played that like, really early on a week... Like, it wasn't even, like, a school day. Like, we just woke up really early on a weekend to play it. And, uh, our parents came up and saw us playing it and got really offended that we woke up early to play a video game. So they took all games away, um, sent them off to another family's, um, house. Um... Which also sort of defeated the purpose of gifting it to us as a Karimbus present. But, I don't know. Growing up is weird, man. I am also hopelessly lost. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Wait a minute, there it is. Somehow driving around randomly got me to where I can continue the main story. There we go. <laughs> All right, so my old man, it turns out, did a little time traveling of his own. Big deal. And while he was in town, he might have fought in the same army as Ophelia's parents. Does that mean you don't trust me now? Your father was a hero. The only one of his army to resist the temptation of the tears. The only one to survive. When they poisoned his army, Rignarok left on his own for one final mission, to assassinate the Emperor of the Demons. He was never seen again. So Deviculus opened the Sea of Black Tears back then to destroy my father's army, just like he's doing now. Do you think... Do you think you were sent here to finish your father's mission? 